best ketchup we ever made, Katie. Give me some more ketchup. Somebody please pass the ketchup. <laughs> Did you know that according to the Oxford Companion, Americans slather 10 billion ounces of ketchup on their food each year? That's roughly three bottles of ketchup for every man, woman, and child. Again, that is in the United States alone. Comment below if you are above or below the average. Did you also know that Ed Sheeran, one of the best musical talents of this generation, loves ketchup so much that he tattooed his love for the condiment on his arm? So the questions are, what makes ketchup taste so good? And how is ketchup made? We hope it comes as no surprise that tomato is the base ingredient in tomato ketchup. But ketchup factories don't make ketchup directly from tomatoes themselves. Tomatoes first need to be converted into tomato paste, which happens for a number of reasons. First, tomato paste is more convenient when mixing with other key ingredients later in the process. Second, the shelf life of tomato paste is much longer than tomatoes. Third, Transporting millions of tons of tomatoes is much more difficult than its paste counterpart. The process of making tomato paste starts with ripe red tomatoes, which are harvested from farms using specialized equipment. Hydraulically powered machines gently cut, shake, sort, and load the tomatoes, while minimizing damage to the crop during the process. The ripe tomatoes are then transported to paste production facilities. Here, the tomatoes undergo a meticulous sorting process to eliminate any damaged or unripe ones. After a thorough wash to rid them of dirt and impurities, industrial-grade equipment like pulpers or grinders are used to crush or chop the tomatoes into small pieces, resulting in a coarse puree. This tomato puree then undergoes preheating to a specific temperature, facilitating skin loosening and separation. Some manufacturers use steam injection or other methods for efficient heating. The preheated puree is further processed through equipment like peelers or centrifugal separators to remove skin and seeds, ensuring a smooth texture and eliminating any undesirable components. At this point, the tomato puree is around 90 to 93% water. To transform this puree into a paste, moisture must be significantly reduced from the tomato mixture. The puree is added to large kettles where the paste is boiled at lower temperatures in a vacuum environment. As moisture is converted into steam, the steam is vacuumed out of the environment until the puree becomes increasingly more concentrated, finally becoming a paste. The paste is then packaged into large containers weighing up to 1300 kilograms and transported to ketchup production facilities. This is where the ketchup production process actually begins. Once the crates are opened, the quality of the paste is tested to ensure it meets strict criteria. If it passes, the paste is moved into a dumper where large rolling pins squeeze it out of the package. The extracted paste is then mixed with water in a storage bin to achieve a smoother consistency. Depending on the brand and their own secret recipe, the ingredients and amount of each will vary. The most common ingredients in ketchup are sugar, vinegar, tomato paste, brine, and secret spices. Once the paste has been diluted to a desired level, the puree is meticulously mixed with precise amounts of each ingredient according to the recipe. The mixture undergoes cooking for 30 to 45 minutes to allow the flavors we all know and love to deeply develop, circulated by rotating blades in the cookers. Once completed, more quality assurance tests are completed to ensure the ketchup is up to standards. Aside from the obvious taste tests, some brands perform viscosity tests where they measure the thickness of the ketchup and the speed at which it travels to test consistency. For example, Heinz performs tests in a contraption called a quantifier, where they test the distance ketchup travels after 10 seconds. If the ketchup moves more than 0.028 miles per hour, the consistency is off and the batch must be discarded. If it passes, the ketchup moves to the bottling phase. This phase is a marvel of machinery. Specialized machinery weighs the empty ketchup bottles and then fills these bottles with the correct amount of ketchup. Once the bottles have been filled to the appropriate amount, they are moved along to the next stage. While this is happening, tops are fed into the rotation. The machinery organizes these tops into single file lines, where they eventually meet with the filled bottles. The tops are twisted on, and labels are also added to the bottles specific to branding, usually a neck, front and back label. Depending on the end destination, bottles can be packaged together before shipping to stores around the world. And that's how ketchup is made. With Heinz alone producing 13 million bottles of ketchup each year, it's safe to say that ketchup is one of the most popular condiments today. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.